Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we got a fair idea about uh, the concepts of buying and selling of items, making profits and losses respectively. Now we will learn about something little more interesting and advanced. Do you know what happens when you borrow money from a bank or maybe you borrow money from somebody who gives you money for interest? So let's take the example of bank. Now sometimes uh, you have a financial crisis. For example, you want to buy a house or you want to buy a car and you do not have sufficient money to buy the same. So what do you do? You go to the bank, you tell the bank that I need some loan from you and the bank gives you loan and you can return that loan after a cup i mean over a period of time for example people who take huge amount for house loan or to buy a new house so they return the money over a period of 10 years 15 years 20 years but do you know why the bank lends you money such huge amounts right even if you need uh, a few lakhs like 10 lakhs 20 lakhs the bank lends you money why because even the bank has a benefit out of it. For example, let's say that you are in need of money and the bank says that, okay, we will give you money and the bank gives you X, right? So let's say that the amount of money that the bank gave you is rupees X. Now the amount of money which you are going to return to the bank over a specific period of time that is never x that is always x plus y. So what is this y? This y is an extra income for the bank or this y is the benefit for bank and that is why they lend you money. So in simple words, this is the concept that is bank gives you X, maybe bank gives you 100 rupees and you are supposed to return that 100 rupees within two years or three years. But when you return it, you have to return 120 rupees. So that 20 extra rupees that you gave to the bank is the benefit for the bank. And because of that extra money only, bank gives you money or bank lends you money. It is not a gift. It is basically lending money. That is, you are supposed, you are borrowing that money from the bank and you will have to return that money along with that extra amount, right? So here we introduce few important terminologies with regards to borrowing of money. So the first term is principal. That means the amount which you borrowed from the bank, the money which you borrowed from the bank. For example, rupees X here in this case is the principal. So this is the money which the bank gave you. Next is interest. So this is the extra money to be paid by the borrower. So in this case, you are the borrower because you are borrowing money from bank. So this Y, that is the extra money which you are paying to the bank, this Y is nothing but the interest. And the third term is amount. So amount is the total money to be paid back by the borrower. So total money means X plus Y. So this X plus Y together is called the amount. So principal is the money which bank gives you. Interest is the extra money that you return to the bank. And amount is the total money that you return to the bank. So from this we can say that amount is always equal to principal plus interest. That is the amount is what you return to the bank. This will always be equal to what the bank gave you plus the extra money. So amount is always equal to principal plus interest. Now you might be thinking why suddenly am I talking about borrowing money from bank? That's because when we talk about the interests, the interest rates of the banks, we talk about percentages. And that is what we want to introduce here because we have been talking about percentages, right? So we will introduce the interest percentage as well. So that is why I gave you a brief introduction of what it is. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.